Welcome back everyone to season four of Life on Mars, the home makeover show. So this season, really the theme is gonna be casual luxury, room by room. So I'm going back to my roots. Absolutely. You remember Mary Alice? Yes, of course. Yeah, of course. So what am I in for when I walk in? 1980, here we are. All right. <laughs> is there anything you wanna keep in here? No. <laughs> Take a moment, think about it. No. No, no. okay. So the punch list is pretty extensive, but I think in the end when Mary Alice comes back and she sees what we have done here, I think she's going to be pretty happy with it. Life on Mars, the home makeover show. I'm Mar Jennings and I created six casual luxury design principles for renovating or designing any space in your home. My casual luxury designs are the answer to any design dilemma, and I'll show you how. We have made tremendous progress here at Stay A While, and I am walking through now to see the cabinets as they're being installed. Now, Mary Alice is also coming today to do her walkthrough, but that's it. We're gonna give her a sneak peek, and then we're going to send her off so we can complete this, and she can be completely surprised. Let's take a look. It's starting to feel like home. You have to love the blue cabinetry. It's going to be complemented by white, a great stove. You notice we move the sink over here in front of the window. Such a better placement. And now I totally feel and see how this is all shaping up. I think Mary Alice is gonna be very happy when she comes in and she sees the progress that we have made. The challenge is going to be, can we stay on schedule and get this ready for her to move into? But um, only Scott will know. I can't help but take in the shiplap ceiling. Scott, what's going on? How are you today? Good, good. So uh, the cabinets look amazing. So we have cabinetry all in the kitchen. We have the cabinetry on each side of the fireplace. We have our installer here and painting will be up after everything's installed. Yeah, it's already first coat's on. First, first coat's coat. on, nice, quiet color. It doesn't scream, which is perfect. It complements the color tones that we have. How are you feeling in reference to timing on this? Pretty I mean, good. I pretty good. I told her, uh, you know, kitchen will be ready next week. We're gonna start tiling. Right. So by the end of next week, she's gonna be in good shape. What a transformation though. Oh yeah. Right, when you think about how we started and now as we start seeing everything come into place, we really get a sense of the sight line and how it really feels like a much bigger space. And that kitchen's really the jewel of the entire uh, first floor. And let's take a look upstairs because I'm curious to see how our new laundry room area and bathroom is shaping up. Okay, so we have our second floor. This is where the biggest transformation took place because now we have a proper corridor, laundry facility, linen closet, and office area. So talk about a bonus. And the door that once led you from the hall into the bathroom is gone because we made the guest bedroom an ensuite with the bathroom. So Scott, bravo. We're doing carpeting here for the whole second floor. So that'll be the last thing we select. But I'm, I'm really feel that we have enough light. I feel like when we come up the staircase, we have plenty of light because we've created more of a proper staircase. We have a nice open landing. Look at this. Nice open landing. We get that office, we recycle it, and we come into the master here, which is a little dark, but this master with bathtub, toilet, double sink, barn door is going to be, wow. 
right? Yep. Wow. We got to fix. Charlie's going to make a door too. Gotta do Charlie's going to make our door. Yeah. We love Charlie. Charlie's our cabinetry maker. He is so talented. I draw things out and then he makes them. So, um, where is Charlie? I want to thank him. Charlie is here, Marsilio, who's going to build out the kitchen. And you brought me all the colors that La Cronu makes, manufactures in kitchen colors, right Charlie? Correct. Okay, so he is the most talented craftsman that I have ever met. So what color do you think I'm going to go with, with the La Cronu and the range? If I were to hazard a guess, I would like He knows me so well and I thought for sure you would pick the white or the off-white. So this is the color of the cabinetry and the color of La Cronu. We're going to match this exactly and you're gonna design it for us. So look, we've got Charlie here. <laughs> okay, Mary Alice should be here any minute. And the immediate expression on her face when she walks in will be very telling. Let's hope when Mary Alice comes that she doesn't freak out with all the craziness going on and she can see what it's all going to look like when it's done. She will. Let's hope so. And this is our check-in with Mary Alice. This is her opportunity to see the progress and to understand what the timeline is and how important it is. I'm expecting some smiles, some laughs, a couple claps, a little jump in. Nothing. I hope I didn't push this too much. Okay, Mary Alice should be here any minute. Oh my gosh! What, what, what? Mary Alice is a former actress. She's done plays, so she really knows how to put out a feeling. And so I'm thinking, I'm pretty receptive. I'm gonna pick up on her feelings pretty quickly. You are seeing it probably at not its worst, but certainly not at its best. I can't read her. So I'm immediately thinking that maybe I completely missed this one. Because I'm not getting anything, I'm questioning maybe I wasn't cut out to do this condo. I love it! Oh. Oh. Wow, beautiful. right? In spite of questioning my design choices and the overall execution of the project, I finally feel a sense of relief because she was just all in all taken back by the, the, the project scope and how big it was. Functionality is so important in the kitchen and we have functionality, we have beauty, we have style, and we have grace. Gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous. I love it. All right, let me show you upstairs. Okay. And I love how big the corridor here is without that without that bump. That was my idea. I know, smart man. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Much better design for functionality up yeah. here. The master has its own ensuite, and that's where really the magic's gonna happen in reference to that bathroom. If we were going to do this, and we were going to address this bathroom, we were gonna do it right. Yeah. And the fact that it was non-negotiable, we needed to have a soaking tub. I had to have it. Had to have it. So it carved out a lot of space, but I think the alternative and how brilliant it was to bump out, remove the door, and put a barn door. Because this is a master. You don't see the toilet. You don't see the sink. The only thing we're going to look at is this beautiful tile and beautiful bathtub. So the barn door will be open. Right. I am a little concerned because normally I like to micromanage and I think I know what's best most of the time, but I'm going to trust Mar, I'm going to leave my baby in his hands and let him do what he does 
and I'm trusting him. I think it's going to be great. I just can't wait to see it. No mirror. Although I lost my dance studio. I know. It's okay. It wasn't long ago we were we were we were dancing mm -hmm. here. Good riddance. Yes. Goodbye, it was, 1980s. It was time for it to go. It's one thing to see it on paper. It's another thing to see it in the actual production of it. And there's a lot to be done, but she has faith. I think I got her to a place where she can see the end result. It's my job now, as she passes the baton and she does not come back, that she allows me to do what I need to do, and that is take it straight to the finish line. I think this is gonna really come together really quickly now for you. And are you feeling it? I'm feeling it. Are you feeling? I'm ready to move in. Home sweet home? Yeah, stay a while. That is the name of this wonderful little condo. And I think we've taken it from being little and kind of not so special mm -hmm. to a real show place mm -hmm. that you can be proud of. And also I think it's going to set the standard of what people are going to expect in this complex. So you are the designer show house. Yay, yay. With the designer. <laughs> I'm right? so fortunate that you were here with me to do this. Okay, so uh, let's go make some decisions. Okay. <laughs> we settled on the name Stay A While because I want everyone to feel comfortable in my home. I want to feel like I can stay and live here and make it my home and I want you to feel comfortable staying a while. So it turns out that Stay A While is really a definition of Mary Alice and the ability to create a home that people definitely want to stay a while. For example, if I'm invited over a cup of coffee, what will end up happening is that cup of coffee would turn into a lovely dinner, and then of course after dinner, we will have a movie, some popcorn, sounds like dessert. Sounds like Mar staying, overstaying as well. I, just, I mean, just make sure I'm in the loop, because you're not supposed to stay a long while on this project, <laughs> though. We have other things that you have to do. Don't worry, you got this. So because Mary Alice was such an advocate about giving me dance lessons, I am starting to think that perhaps maybe I should give her an experience. So because Mary Alice was such an advocate about giving me dance lessons, I am starting to think that perhaps maybe I should give her an experience. So the best way to do that is to introduce her to the world of equestrian riding and equestrian shows. So I think as a spectator, I just might get her hooked on something that we can both do together. I gotta care for you both. Here you go. Look what I got. Good girl. Hi, Knox. This is Knox. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you will know that he is a Frisian horse. Showtime. And he's my friend's. Hi, Knox. He's my friend's Nora's horse. Hi. And we're going to tack Luna. And Dana's here because she is going to be my groom. And what that is, is a person that tacks your horse for you. So she's helping out today during this very stressful first competition. Ooh, I said that out loud. It was great for me to see what Mar does as a leisure activity because he came and took a dance class with me. The feet are gonna go out, out, in, in. And he was a good sport. But I have to say, I was a little surprised that I would look back behind me and look in the mirror and he wasn't always keeping up. But the more I've gotten to know Mar, the more I think it's very possible that that was all for show and I think he could have done a lot better than he was like. Get a vertical. Look happy. I'm no stranger when it comes to performing. After all, I was a performer in my last life as a former figure skating champion. Today, I still like to perform, whether it be in front of the camera or behind the camera or an athletic ability. Riding really 
captures my heart in so many ways because it's truly about connecting with an animal. And when you can connect with a horse, such as Luna, you can do amazing things together. And you can ask the horse to do things that normally, without a good instructor, can't be done. Well, I was totally prepared for this competition. However, Luna was having a bad day. I feel good. I look good, I have the part, I have my number on my back, I have a fantastic support system in place, people have come to watch me, and now I'm on this horse, and I'm feeling a little nervous, but I feel, as Paul would say over and over again, you got this, until you don't got this. Luna, for some reason, refused to jump, and when you're pushed forward, you can't jump, so I had to pull her in. I was not having it. So I was going to hold on tight, redirect her, start over, and get her to jump again. But I was freaking out. Okay, so I didn't get first place. I got second place. I didn't go into this show wanting second place, although second two is my favorite number. In this case, I wanted number one. But I will tell you, in spite of the difficulties, in spite of the fact that the horse started going nuts on me, and in spite of the fact that I didn't place first, I still loved what I was doing. It was still magical. It was still a connection. It was something to be proud of. And for that alone, I will forever cherish that experience. Now I'm so hooked. I want to do it again and again and again. And I want to excel. I want to jump higher. I want to do other things. I want to really explore all the opportunities that horsemanship has to offer. And as an equestrian, the look is so suitable for me. At the horse show, Mar looked fantastic. I mean, he instilled confidence just by seeing him on the horse. We thought he would just ace it. Like a true professional, he stayed on that horse. Now, did it inspire me to get on a horse anytime soon? I'm not really sure. So I've done a lot of reveals, so I'm pretty familiar with the process. And no matter how many times I do this, there's still always that question, are they going to love it as much as I do? We have made tremendous progress here at Stay A While. So the kitchen renovation is happening, and I can't help but notice that weird coincidence that somehow Mary Alice is getting the same oven de la Cornue that you Oh! I don't know, how did that and happen? And the one that we put in the first season. I love la Cornue. It's a French stove. It is made so solidly. They're wonderful to work with. So I thought that must be our new stove and we have to somehow made me get a trip to uh, France. Oh, sure. To see the manufacturing of the stove. What I love about it, though, is the way that you've designed that kitchen. It's it's going to be a beautiful centerpiece because it'll be visible everywhere. So why not have something like that? Right? Well, that's a very good point. And I think when it came to stay a while, you walk in the front door, you look left, and that's going to be your vision of your stove. And these stoves, not only are they beautiful, they are legacy pieces, but they're also that piece of jewelry that yeah. underscores luxury.
Well, you know, the irony that we're talking about the stoves is that I'm sure even when Mary Alice's stove arrives and it's still in the carton, she will have probably used it more in her mind than you've used yours in real life. So, so is that supposed to be a dig? No, I mean, that's a huge compliment that you've kept yours so beautiful and, and pristine. My stove looking. is I mean, new. I have really, people yeah. that come and use it and are very happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you keep it so pristine. And I know how to turn it on. Great. I know how to make it work. Great. And your stove still has like crud from 1970s. Yeah, but you know, that's called flavoring. <laughs>
You have more space for sitting, it. but it doesn't scream a doctor's waiting room. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I really would never have thought that it could be done, but you did it. So when I saw Stay A While, I just, I was blown away. The, the fact that it was beautiful was one thing, but the fact that it was my home and it was my haven was the main thing. And a place where I could entertain and bring my family. I've, I've been through a lot, I've moved a lot, and it's really, really important to me that I have that safe, beautiful, secure home. And Mark got it. Oh, Mar! Oh my gosh! Oh, it's gorgeous! Crazy, right? You knocked it out of the ballpark. This is fabulous. It makes me really happy. Yes. I, thank you so well, much. Well, you really wanted this bathtub. In concluding this project, I must say Stay A While is truly a wonderful place not only to stay and live, but also to stay and live within our hearts. This was a really fantastic project. Another casual luxury transformation. It just goes to underscore how casual luxury is truly the cure to any design dilemma. And it works in any space, for any budget, and for any room. Casual luxury is really the blueprint for great design. I'm Mar Jennings. Until next time, be casual. Yeah, so I'm all in and I love it here. I'm really happy. It turned out so well and it was great working with Mar. I mean, it was just an amazing experience. So you need to tell me if I'm crazy, but I'm kind of thinking about maybe selling and doing it all over again. Well, what do you think? Should I sell? <laughs> <laughs>